Hey everybody, it's Josh, and I'm going to answer a viewer question today, and uh, so here it is. Hey Josh, what advice would you have to give to women, particularly young women, who are experiencing homelessness or are about to experience homelessness? How do they stay safe? Uh, how do we survive? A bunch of more questions like that. So... I kind of answered this one in a video I made like uh, two months ago. I believe it was one of the first videos I made. And the video wasn't about this subject, but I just kind of threw this subject in there. Uh, but I'm, I'll dedicate an entire video to this question now. So, as far as women staying safe when they go into homelessness, especially young women... Um, you know, being safe from, especially things like sexual assault and stuff like that. The biggest thing you can do, and and I said this in my in that video from before when I when I discussed this, is do not try to act tougher than you really are. Now, I've said before that when you're homeless and in the streets, you can't can't take no crap from people, and those two pieces of advice might sound contradictory. Don't try to act tougher than you really are and don't take crap for people. That might sound contradictory, especially to somebody who's never been in a rough situation before. But the thing is, homeless people are really good at seeing through, seeing if you are who you really are, who you say you are. And if you're as really as tough as you say, try to come off as you are. And uh, they're going to see right through it if you try to act too tough for your own good. Now, a woman in the streets will always have something of a target on her back as far as sexual assault, especially young, pretty women. So if you're a young, pretty woman who's homeless, you're going to have a target on your back. But you're going to make the target a lot worse by trying to act tough and hard all the time. Um, now when you see these homeless girls, uh, running around, and we've all seen these girls, they're a little overweight. They hold their shoulders back like this. They, they hold their arms out. They walk around like men, no matter how nice you are, they're always looking for a reason to tell you to F off and so on and so forth. They're just always trying to look like they're always mad all the time. And they're always trying to put on that tough act. Those are the girls who have been raped like six times in the streets. Okay. So, and the reason for that is really simple. Um, it's the same reason, like it works the same way for guys. Like it, when a guy is going into a rough environment, like let's say a guy is going into prison. A lot of the guys who go into prison, who get hurt when they go into prison and get beat up badly. The reason that happens is because they go into prison scared. So they try to act tougher than they really are. They try to, you know, the chest out, the whole... They're pissed off all the time, telling the stories about how many people they hurt hurt uh, on the outside and so on and so forth. They try too hard to act too tough, and uh, that makes them a target, and eventually they get jumped and, you know, hurt pretty badly by a bunch of other prisoners who are just sick of hearing their BS. In the same way, with a woman living in the streets, if she's trying too hard to act too tough, it puts that target on her back all that much more. It makes potential predators just I don't know how to, how to say this but it's almost like they'll have more fun breaking a girl like that down right so if you're going into homelessness but you're used to being a petite uh, sexy young woman and that's who you are then just continue to be that person don't be fake fake will attract creeps really quickly um, always has always will now take some precautions. Don't like act sexy in the streets. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is just be yourself and don't take no crap from people when you're called out. So another thing people like to do is when they go into a rough situation, like when they go into prison or they go into homelessness or whatever, a lot of people who are new at it will try to find some guy they perceive to be tough and pick a fight with him right away thinking that whether they win or they lose, that's how they'll get their respect in the streets. And then they don't have to worry about that no more. But that's not how real life works. 
You know what I'm saying? You can't do it like that. You're going to get yourself hurt doing stuff like that. You know, and, and I understand why people want to do that because they know they're going into a tough environment. So they want to get that establishing respect thing out of the way so they don't have to worry about it anymore. And I get that. But that's just not how real life works. You have to let it come to you. And when someone crosses a line where you feel truly disrespected, you've got to wait for that, that moment for to bring the tough side of yourself out. You know what I'm saying? So that's just the way it is. Just make sure that you do that when in those moments where you're getting tested. Uh, but back to what I was saying. That's the biggest thing I can say for women uh, staying safe in the streets. The, the, the worst thing you can do to try to put a target, to put a big target on your back for sexual assault or whatever else is to try to act like you're harder than you really are, to try to adopt this sort of hard-ass personality that isn't the real you. Don't do that. Be tough when you have to be, but be yourself in all of the situations. All right? That, that is the safest possible thing you can do out there. Now, here's the good news. When it comes to things like sexual assault, contrary to what the media tells you and what certain politicians tell you, most homeless people have enough of a good moral value system where they don't want to see you get sexually assaulted. Okay, so homeless people are people just like everybody else. Nobody likes rapists. Nobody likes sexual abusers. So if you find like, let's say you go homeless, you're a young woman, and you have to sleep under the bridge, right? Under some bridge. If the other guys under that bridge think you're about to get sexually assaulted, they will defend you most in most cases. And if somebody does something to you, a lot of those guys will go and try to get revenge on your behalf if it happened within their vicinity. And this is true even if they don't like you personally, okay? Um, you know, I know you hear a lot of things about homeless people and like people try to try to try to try to tie homeless people into having a higher sexual abuse rate than other people or whatever. It's just not true. Nobody likes sexual abusers. Homeless people are no different. So generally, when you find a group of homeless people to sort of click up with, you're going to have some degree of protection. Uh, just based on the moral code that most men in America live by. So, if somebody tries you in the streets and other homeless people are around, they'll step in and defend you just like anybody else would in most cases. All right, so you do have that going for you. But yeah, oh, here's another bit of advice. If you're going to be homeless, especially no matter if you're a man or a woman, and especially if you guys are, if you're like a young man or a young woman, this ties into everything I just said, but don't be fake. Don't try to act like you're more street than you really are. Like you, a lot of people will, when they first go homeless, they will find another, like a group of homeless people that are sleeping under a bridge somewhere or whatever. And they will try to come off like they've been in the streets for like a long time. And listen, homeless people see right through that stuff. Um, first of all, it, a lot of it doesn't add up. It's like, so you've been in the streets 10 years, but you're only 22 right now. Yeah, sure, buddy. Whatever you say, right? Um, but just be, be honest. You know, a lot of times people will tell you, like, when you're around gang members, pretend like you know what's going on. When you're around mobsters, pretend like you know what's going on. Don't pretend like you know what's going on when you're around homeless people. Um, because they already know whether you're new or not anyway. Here's the thing about being homeless. All homeless people, all of them, have a certain, who have been down for a while, have a certain vibe, have a certain energy that, that just comes with um, having experienced the cruelty of the world for a certain amount of time. And it's a vibe that cannot be faked. It's damn near impossible to fake this vibe. And we recognize it in each other. And you, the thing is, when you go homeless, you don't even begin. 
You don't even begin to develop this vibe until you're two or three years into your street life. Once you've had enough bad experiences with other homeless people and, and civilians wanting to hurt you for no, re <clears throat> no reason and all that. And people calling the cops on you for no reason. And once you've experienced the cruelty of the world for two or three years, you develop a certain hardness that only homeless people have. It's a different type of hardness than what a gang member has or whether what a mobster has. And like I said, it's almost impossible to fake. So whether you're a guy or a girl, if you're first going into homelessness, just be honest about it when people ask you. Just be I'm new to this. I, I'm, you know. Will people try to take advantage of you? Absolutely. But if you lie about it, they're, homeless, other homeless people are going to know anyway. They're going to know you're new just by how you carry yourself. So, so if you lie about it, a lot of people are going to think that you're either a cop or an undercover reporter or something. And it's going to be very, very hard to sort of network with people. So you don't want to do that. Be honest about, you know, if you've only been homeless for a couple months, just be honest about that. You know what I'm saying? And that'll save you a lot of headaches. Nobody will call you out for it. But again, it'll be very hard. People won't trust you. So it just just be honest. And it, it'll be easier to network with other homeless people and find a click of other homeless people to, you know, sort of click up with for protection and resources and all that sort of thing. <clears throat> all right. But back to my point about homeless women staying safe. There's a lot of uh, advice that I could give you as far as carrying, you know, like if it's winter time, carry a frozen water bottle around with you so that you have like a weapon with you. Um, but the women that I've seen that have the most trouble with sexual assault in the streets are the ones that try to try too hard to act too tough. They just put a big target on their back and creeps take advantage of that. So don't do that. Be your real self, whether you're living in the streets or whether you're not. Don't try to pretend to be somebody you're not. Doing so will make the target on your back a lot bigger than it already is, and you don't want that. All right, that's all for today. My cash app's linked down below. Please show your love. That's it.